and welcome to the final uh, results roundup uh, of the season for games played yesterday, the 11th of September. A um, couple of results that are not yet finalised, uh, but we're going to do this anyway. So we'll go to the Palace Shield, where there were wins for Kirkham and Wesham, Barrow, Preston, Eccleston, Great Eccleston and Vernon Carus. Um, and that all means that the promotion places are filled by Penrith and Vernon Carus. Game of the day was Vernon Carus versus Penwitham. A really comfortable win for Vernon's. I thought Penwitham might be a bit better than that. And they cemented their place in the promotion spots. A very challenging 271 for six. And it was always going to be too many for the visitors. Hopefully Vernon's take up the challenge of the Northern League. Uh, and they'll replace uh, Morecambe in that if that happens. So uh, let's have a look at some performances. Uh, we've got Matthew Ashcroft of Eccleston. He got 66 against South Shore. Christopher Hedges of Thornton Cleavers. He got 60 against Great Eccleston. And Charlie Parker of Penn with him in that game against Vernon's in that, their defeat. He got 64 not out. And bowling wise, Anthony Harrison of Kirkham against Croston. He got 6 for 26. And Andrew uh, Hewitt of Eccleston against South Shore. He got 5 for 44. And Anthony Ellison of Thornton Cleveland's against Great Eccleston, 5 for 45. And Ben Thomas for Vernon Carus against Penwitham, 6 for 26. That's a really good effort from them. And if we just have a, a look at the league table with all the results in, um, we've got Penrith, 194. Vernon Carus, 184. Barrow, 176. Kirkham and Wesham, 175. Thornton Cleveland's, 160. Great Eccleston and Preston 154, Penwitham 139, Eccleston 133, Croston 119, Fylde 86 and South Shore 71. So Fylde and South Shore will be going down to Division 1A uh, and they'll be replaced by Torres Ormond at Exton. And Penrith and Vernon Carus, if uh, they both take up the option, will go to the Northern League and they'll be replaced by Fleetwood and Morecambe. Uh, so a, re a really good uh, season there in the Palace Shield and very, very competitive. Went down to the last game. The lucky ones out of them all, I think, are Thornton Cleveland's. Um, they had four games rained off, uh, which is more than anyone else up near the top. So they could have perhaps been a bit closer. And if we go into the Westmoreland League, um, the I've not got the card for the Carnforth, uh, Shires head, uh, sorry, Carnforth Sedgwick game. Uh, and also there's no result on for the Arnside Heesham game, although I understand Heesham won that comfortably. So there were wins for Carnforth, Burnside, Wharton, Westgate, Heesham. And then the game between Trimple and Bear was a rain affected draw. They lost eight overs there, so they didn't finish um, that one. So the uh, game of the day was going to be Arnside Heesham. I understand Heesham roll out for about uh, sorry, Arnside roll out for about 60 and Heesham uh, reached the target for the loss of one wicket. So that in, in quick time, so that sounds like a bit of a drubbing. That's quite disappointing that. Uh, so uh, we'll have a look at some performances that I do know about. Uh, Jack Thwaites for Bernie Side against Silverdale, he hit 57. Michael Bland also hit 57 for Trimple against Bear, that bottom, uh, sort of uh, Bear's last game in, in that division, I think. And then Robert White in the same game for Bear, 71 now in that game against Trimple. Bowling-wise, uh, it's a Wharton day, really. Graham Crowther, 5 for 34. And Sean Partridge, 5 for 30. Both for Wharton in their win over Millthorpe. Uh, Joe Oliver, 5 for 16 for Shireshead against Westgate. And Dylan Conroy, 5 for 20 for Westgate in that same game. Um, let's have a look at the table then. So, Carforth, 270. Hesham 219 with that game to go on, so they're going to be over 230, aren't they? Westgate 191, Shire's Head 191, Sedgwick 165, Aging Arnside 162, uh, and then the big gap to Wharton 136, Trimple 118, Milthorpe 115, Burnside 113, Sedba School down there on 94, uh, which then if you double it up, say 188. They would have only come fifth. Um, and then Bear on 88 and Silverdale on 70. Now the promotion uh, from Division 2 and relegation corresponding from Division 1 isn't finalised yet, but Bear and Silverdale are in those two places. Kirby Lonsdale, Lonsdale won Division 2, so uh, presumably they'll be promoted 
It's just whether or not anyone goes down. And um, yet to be officially confirmed, I think, uh, the league winners, Carnforth, um, they've got to uh, decide and, and, and publish their, their thoughts. Uh, it may have been done already, but I don't officially know about it, uh, to go into the uh, Palace Shield Division 1A, which is what the, uh, the winners of the Westman League have the option to do. Um, so uh, we'll look out for that. Uh, I can't do a stats show uh, at the moment uh, and give you the uh, the leading runs and wicket takers for these two leagues as the cards haven't been updated. So perhaps look for that tomorrow. Um, just got a few thank yous to say. Uh, thanks to uh, the lads at Hesham and Westgate for taking this so seriously. And thanks for your, your information coming in from Hesham because the scorecards don't always come on as quickly. But I get a text with information. So thanks to them. Um, thanks to uh, the Westman League to uh, Aging Arnside for taking that on the chin and not, not getting too annoyed. It's only, it is only a joke. Uh, and then in the Palace Shield, um, there we go. We have uh, several teams in the Palace Shield that I know have been following this. Thanks for your input uh, and thanks for, uh, for for the likes and the follows and the subscriptions. Uh, it goes the same for the Northern Leagues. Uh, thanks to Dano for uh, not being too offended for when I said he should retire. I still think he should retire, uh, go out on a high. Uh, if he wants another captaincy job, I'm sure the loads of clubs will... Uh, We'll let him captain from a deck chair on the side while he uh, while he reads his pension book or whatever he does. Uh, so that's me finished for this season, apart from the stats show. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll look uh, over the winter at what we're going to do for next year. Thanks again, guys.